Welcome back for another Book Talk video. It's Magical Monday, and that means I'm talking fantasy. For today, I was inspired by yesterday dealing with C.S. Lewis's mix of science fiction and fantasy to go grab my all-time favorite mix of sci-fi and fantasy, change up my recording schedule here, and today give you Kothar Barbarian Swordsman, the first in a series by Gardner F. Fox. Now, I realize you might think this is just a Conan the Barbarian clone, but I promise you, even if that was true, True, it would be a whole lot of fun, but it's not. Kothar is his own character who has to deal with his own situations. I really enjoy the character. Gardner F. Fox helped write a lot of really famous comic books. He worked a lot with superheroes and comic book stories. He's also got at least two different major barbarian series, these Kothar books as well as the Kyrick the Barbarian. But the reason I grabbed this book was because in my edition, let me flip the pages here, I've got the 1969 edition from Belmont Books. After the introduction, which is a scholarly introduction from PhD Donald McIvers, the actual beginning of the book is a little two-pager that says it's from a fragment of the Lord Histories of Satorum Mandamore. No context for what that means, but similar to how in the story of Dune, you would have some sort of historical artifact, some text excerpt. And then after these two pages, it goes into what is a fantasy story about a barbarian, a sorcerer, a magic sword, all kinds of interesting stuff. Let me read to you this excerpt so that you can see how a lot of sci-fi and fantasy really are tied together really well. Because like I said, this is technically a fantasy novel, but let me blow your mind by reading the beginning of this fantasy novel to you. The universe is old, old. For 10 billion years, the stars of this our galaxy hurtled outward across the gulfs of space. For another billion years, they hung suspended at the apex of their expansion. During the past three billion years, now that the universe is contracting instead of expanding, those stars, dim and faint with age, have been collapsing in upon themselves, rushing headlong back to their beginnings and their ultimate destruction. In time, there will be no time. Ages ago, as the legends say, the race of man knew those stars and all their planets, named and visited them, and left on those planetary surfaces, vast cities, great monuments to mankind's own greatness. Once uncounted millennia before, an empire of man was spread throughout the universe. This empire died more than a billion years ago, after which man himself sank into a state of barbarism. Here and there, on a planet man has occupied, can be seen a bit of stonework which he left behind him as a reminder of past glory, or a few rocks of what had been a mighty mighty megapolis, even some chunks of marble as a memento of forgotten art masterpieces. The rust and erosion of eon upon eon has bitten deep into mankind's creations. Today, wherever man can be found on the planets of the dying, star suns, the very shapes of the continents on which he lives, bear little resemblance to those he knew two billion years before. The oceans cover his cities, the desert sands his tombs and temples, while the fierce north wind ruffles vegetation that earlier man had never seen. Today man is a barbarian in a barbaric world. Man has reverted back to the childhood of his earliest years. He has forgotten his heritage. He has made new gods to replace the old. Man has outlived his glory. And yet, to some men and women who live in the sunset years of the race has been given a power unknown to those men of an earlier age, yet a power famed and feared in the legendary of his people, for there are wizards and warlocks, sorcerers and witches in these days, and their spells and incantations are known to work malignant miracles. There are also warriors, fighting men whose swords earn them fame and fortune, men endured to hardship and a way of life totally alien to the men of an earlier day. One such warrior was Kothar, cast upon by the sea in the northlands of his world, a sellsword and a mercenary, a wincher after the women of his day, a freebooter and a thief at times whose sword frost fire was a magic sword this is his saga
Isn't that amazing? I mean, that right there shows you the science fiction intergalactic empire that was behind the spread of the human race. All right, I hope that I have inspired you to pick up some Kothar the Barbarian. That's it for today's book talk. Every day is a good day for a book talk. Peace.